Yahweh, we magnify. Magnify Yahweh, we exalt you. Magnify Yahweh, I have you. Yah is worthy of our praise. Lord, we magnify you. Magnify Yahweh, we magnify. Magnify Yahweh, we exalt you. Magnify Yahweh, I have you. Yah is worthy of our praise. Yabaruk Nation, Maria David, this morning it is the first. Just want to share a few things with you. I want to show you some things as I prepare to get the seeds in the trees for the autumn. We are out working. I got the little young ones out working that they may understand the importance of work instead of playing video games all day. I'm watching you over there, young ones. These are pulling up beans, and I'll show you what we do with this. We don't throw anything away here. The garden is beautiful. We have harvest this morning. The bees are working. I got them over here doing this. Who is that? What is your name, sir? Leave it. Get closer so I will know who you are. What is My your name? My name is Levis. How old are you, sir? Nine. Nine? This is hard work, isn't it? Yes, I intend sir. for you all to have your gloves. I tell you all the time, make sure you have your gloves on, right? Yes, sir. Now go get your gloves. Who are you, son? Dowie. Who is your father? Zakay Yaramia. All right. This is not fun, is it? Be honest. Uh, no, sir. I know this, and I know what you're going to say. What is your name, sir? Uriah. Who is your avant? Akiwasadak. Akiwasadak. Is this fun? No, sir. Why? Why is not fun? It's uh, it's fun to learn learn how to do it. Uh, it doesn't take anything to learn how to pull beans up and and pull them out of the garden, does it? No, sir. All right, you all get your gloves, okay? Yes, yes sir. All right, Yabaruch. Hallelujah. Yabaruch. I'm going here to our older sons. I give them the stuff that takes. You see what they're doing? They're cutting up, we've harvest carrots today. And they're taking all the heads of the car carrots. Who am I talking with here? Who is this young man? What is your name, sir? I'm Asher. Son and of who Ak is your avant? Ak Yoshivia. Ak Yoshivia. He's the one that plays the piano. And who is this, my? Uh, Yesha. This is Yeshi. I call him Yeshi. What are you all doing here? We're cutting up the carrot um, <clears throat> leaves so we can uh, make ferment out, make ferment for the chickens. We're going to feed this to the chickens? Yes, sir. You're kidding me. Yes, sir. So we're going to feed this to the chickens. We're doing some over here. And uh, we keep fermentation in our buckets. You're safe. And we feed it to the chickens because it helps in the egg production. Just look at that. It looks nasty, but it is an important process of our growth here. Our daughters have all gone. They have pulled up all the carrots. And uh, the young Achim are cutting that up. We'll mix that with, with different kinds of uh, food for them. Uh, we'll mix that and make sure that uh, they're eating well, the proteins, the vitamins. That is the better part of the carrot than even the carrot itself. We'll do all this. While the Achim are working on the pool, y'all are not ready to swim, I know. Here's the daughters. Y'all are not ready to swim. Yes, sir. They're ready to swim. Hello. These are our beautiful daughters. Who may I have the pleasure? Sarah. Who is your vat? Zakin Yaramia. And? Ahava. This and my is... daddy is Akio Shibia. That's her. And? I'm Hadassah. And my daddy is Akio Shibia. And you? I'm Shakura. And my daddy is Zakin Yaramia. Ah, beautiful daughters of Tizion, young men. One day they are ready for marriage. They'll be finishing school this year. Next year, right? Yes. And they're going to enroll in a college. We're preparing this building for the college over here. And we got to get it done. And they'll enroll in college next year. They're going to learn. They're going to be an assistant to their fathers. They're going to understand how to organize things and to create things on the web, internet, 
so that you will see the beauty of this entire place. I'm an old man getting old. My time is limited. Ya Baruch daughters and Toda, Toda, Shalom, Shalom. Our sons are doing a wonderful job. Now, these are the ones over here that they move quite slow. Like put them out there on the playground, they will run all day long. Look at him. But when it comes to work, is that right? Yes, sir. His father named him after me, Daiweed. They are slow. Tomatoes and things on the vine. Ah, I may take those two and just eat them myself. We pick peppers and everything. Everything is wonderful here in Teshua. I'm glad to be alive. I just wanted to give you just a short clip this morning. We'll finish up by noon. And many of them uh, will, uh, they will go out with their parents. Most Sundays, the first day they tend to, they tend to go out. And I don't mind because I'm here many times by myself and I can study. Uh, some of the older ones, the few that we have, the elders. We get things set up here with my laptop. My brother Ach Yaakob from Dallas. He's an IT professional. He comes and he sets things up for us. And it's beautiful, satellites and all. And the young daughters, I'll show you where they're going. They're going to pick apples, and we are going to dehydrate them in the dried apples. We used to have an orchard here. It was plentiful, had abundance of apples and nectarines, you name it, we grow them, peaches, pears. And uh, we just, don't have the manpower to take care of those kinds of things like we used to. And so, uh, not taking care of them, you had, uh, you had diseases that set in and all of that. But we're all right. I'm going to create another orchard. I'm getting old, but it will produce, I believe, before I leave this world. I know it will. Zokinya Ramaya will run everything he's a man that you all listen to him doing the feast is a man that can't do anything he's very wise uh, he's wiser than me at his age than i was i did not have mentors to teach me like he has had here the bees, let's take a look at that. Bees are doing well, look at that. We used to have tons of hives. And uh, the matter of fact, they went, there's a video that I showed you how they went and retrieved a vacuum full of bees out of a well. Man called them and they went. Oh, look at the grass, it's a beautiful day. And so this is what our young daughters are doing. I'm going to cane walk up there as my is you all would say of course i would say we're going to beautify the front of our tabernacle the signs oh that's been there for i i don't know how long i built that we're going to put those beautiful flowers all around this and, and uh put the red beautiful chips in there we're going to put it all oh look at the martins they're vitally important for us here they eat bugs and things. And so this is what the young daughters are doing. Your young ones, let's take them and just pile them, the bad ones, and then we'll bring them to a position where they can all eat, all right? Yes. Instead of throwing them out like that. Yes, take a, uh, hmm? Yes, and we're going we're gonna to build the, uh, what's it called, right here. So we can get sound all day. Yes. We're you all get something and put the rotten ones in. We can walk down here to the greenhouse and yes. then just put, put all the best ones in there, okay? Yes, They're over here picking the apples, the green apples, the trees. But this one is just full of them. All right, daughters, shalom. Oh, that's beautiful. Look at her smiling. We're gonna, we are not going to do all, dry them all up, but we're gonna dry many of them, all right? We set something else where they're dry. Have you wanted to do all the trees? 
Now let's, yeah, well, let's fill these up. We're gonna do all of them. It's not that many, daughter. It's one, one, two, three, four. It's not that many apples, but these trees would produce abundantly. Uh, we fertilized them last year. I don't know if Aki wants to not fertilize them this year. So they're gonna pick the apples. You got those that are more on the grass, Achim Birmi, Yosef, picking corn. I'm just gonna take a little stroll and get back. I wanted to put out just a little something today. Gotta to get this set up for our, our tomatoes, cukes, and peppers, the greenhouse. We can utilize this greenhouse because it's due south and the saltus is across this way water saltis so we'll get plenty of sun to make sure that there is much and i'll get up here next week and we'll take this down and all of this i will have i could put mm, six thousand seeds i will start that many on this table and we'll clean all this up and kill all this grass and we will start our our Greenhouse garden, tomatoes, cukes, peppers, maybe carrots, and we will do that. Everything is set up to just grow. We can get 50 of these buckets in there, in here. Beautiful life, I love it. I appreciate everything that Yah has granted unto us here. I have no complaints, and I will not complain. I will not. In the process of getting our graveyard and everything fixed up, the pond has risen a little bit. I don't know what the weather is like where you are, but it has been quite pleasant here. Not as hot as it, has, it would normally be this time of the year. See the Akima there trying to work on the pool. They're getting that done. Very beautiful place. This is a very beautiful place. We're going to build our own pool next year. Until this. Until this uh, liner decay. About five years. And we will have the funds to build our own swimming pool. I know how to do those kinds of things. We go out on, make sure we have what we need. So they're there, getting that out, making sure the pool is ready. And I said I'll do about a 20 minute video, that's all. I'm not gonna be out here long. Too much work to do. All right, how's it looking, my ach? I had to make sure that the Young people were introduced to the people that we speak to. There's Lakshimari up there, and we're going to get it done. It's a very nice pool. His avat gave the offering to purchase this pool, which I did. Every dime, put a concrete slab down. I know how to do stuff like that, but we just didn't have the time at that time to try to build it. But it's going to, hey, that's my little friend. Look at the little fellas. Look at them. Tell them who you are. My name is Yahuda. Well, who, who's your avant? Who's your father? My, my, fa my, fa my father is my daddy. What's his name? His name is Akio Shibia. Akio Shibia. Look at these two handsome ones here with the hats on. Who am I? Have the pleasure to introduce to Teshu from Teshu. Who, who are you? My name is Zakaria. Zakaria. Smart, intelligent little fella. Handsome too. That's... I call him Mr. Handsome. You of heart? My Who's... daddy is na my his name is Akmarcos. Akmarcos and who is this? My name is Sophonia. Sophonia. I like that. Who is your father? Akmarcos. Akmarcos. They're not working like the other ones, but they'll they'll begin to work soon, all right? Yabaruk, young ones. Shalom. How is it looking? Wow, I didn't realize this is my first time here. I don't know how long. 
This is a beautiful pool. What else we got to do? I came in here trying to get it together because I want my babies to swim. What do we do? Just stack these blocks up in here? They're movable. Huh? We did? We still can use them though, man. This is almost enough to build a pool. Huh? All right. I'll leave you all to this. I got work to do, all right? Yabaruk, 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 everyone. Shalom, shalom. All right. We can knock it out by noon. Finish up later, huh? All right. Teshua Hebrew community. This place is meant for us to learn how to love and participate with each other. And your care. That's what I want to begin teaching on here on Keats V. Imat Wednesday. I want to teach what love is. We all got our perceptions of love, which is just vile filth. We don't know what love is. The okra. I went through this morning and pruned the okra. And we got okra, corn. And everything to pick and eat. Hallelujah. What are you going to do with those corn stalks? Well, we're going to feed them to our cows. And some to the chickens and all of that. We're preparing for the fall garden. Well, that's what we're preparing for, the corn... We'll have late corn. We try to plant things, not all together at one time. Let me just take that one. But look at the corn. This is Silver Queen, very sweet. We like Silver Queen and Golden. Let me see what it tastes like. It needs some work on it. It needs to grow. It will grow. It's not fat. But this one is. That he is getting to the point where we can. We can. Um, pull them out. This is. I know I tell you many times in the videos. But this is. These are sweet potatoes. They between corn. Maize, they're all, this is a flower. And don't write me and tell me that that's incorporating uh, foods that are different. I know what I'm doing. I know that. That's our friend from Texas, IT professional. He will come at the drop of the hat for me. He lived in New York, moved down to Texas. He's been there uh, close to 20 years. He heard me. He was living in New York, and he has been a kind friend above kindness. He is a jewel of a friend. You don't find that. And so you don't do anything to hamper that. I will not. Corn, corn, corn. We're ready to begin the fall planting. We are. I will begin. I will show you that in the close of this video. All of that, we've harvested the beans and everything out of that. We'll pull those up if we don't turn them in. Still producing tomatoes. I've harvested these this morning. Beautiful, beautiful construct here. Beautiful home where we live. That's a big daddy there. I should pull that and eat it, but I won't. And we're going to put two more beds here. The sun is obscuring the pictures, but we want to put two more beds here. One here like that and here. The rain that we got earlier, it has... Uh, wow. We have too much water. The grass is growing. It takes... We have a large place. It's a very large place. I just can't walk like I used to. I'm not going to walk. I got my cart ready to go, but we have a large place. See those homes and everything through here? And I don't feel like walking through there. 
So it's a huge place. This is a huge bed here. We will start this out with, we will plant the brassicas, we will plant broccoli, broccoli, cabbages, collards, and also we shall plant some kale in this. So all the wood, the trees we cut down, and we're taking all these old pines out, you can see. The homes are very livable. Imra, Imma Sebeya lives in that one. Buildings, we want to refurbish them. Listen, you all, you want to send help, send it. And help us. This is what the children did here. You got to see this. This is my first time seeing it. <laughs> Near graffiti. <laughs> they did a beautiful job. Beautiful job. They just paint whatever you want to. You can't go wrong. It'll go right every time. And that's what they did. Isn't that beautiful? These are my logs I'm going to build a log cabin with. I'm going to do that before Yacht takes me out of this earth. And this is, going to, this is going to be the orchard. I want to put the log cabin. I want to put it right here. Facing this direction here. The daughters can fellowship in there. People can come. A lot of work to do. We'll get it done. That's a fact. We will get it done. No doubt about it. And I show you our community because I'm not, certainly not ashamed. With its flaws and the buildings and everything, I still love it. I love where I live. I will go to find some doors and things, uh, Salvation Army, any place like that. Cheap. That's what keep our dining hall cool, bearable during the summer. We don't have the funds that have air conditions everywhere. There go our babies. We're in the dining hall. This is my Davida. This is my beautiful Rhea. This is all of them. Say hallelujah. Come outside. Come outside. Let, come on outside. Come on, y'all. Davida, come outside. Come out. Let everybody meet you all. Let them come out for a minute. They're coming out. Come on, Davida. Okay, I got it. Okay, this is Miss Pumpkin Pie. Who is this? Her name is Kefra Miller. That's Pumpkin Pie. This is who? Who am I talking to here? <laughs> Tell the people your name. I'm Davida Rafael Priscilla Horn. The Avat and Ema named them after my Ema and I. And this is a beautiful... Who is this? This is Me. Raya. Tell the no, let tell them your name. Who's, I'm Raya. Who is your father? Who is your avat? I'm Who is your Ima? I'm look, Ima. Look at the camera. Who is your mama? Daddy. Uh, Who is your daddy? You gotta say it so if I can hear you. Who is your daddy? Who is your daddy? My daddy. What's his name? His name is Akashibia. Oh, his name is Akashibia. And this is? Tifra. This is Tifra, the beautiful little <laughs> queen. <laughs> Navida, both Zakhinya Ramiya's children. All right, I see you all, okay? Yes. Yabaruk, let me look. I haven't looked. All right. The girls are picking apples. 
Let's go in here. Oh, this place needs to be clean. The oven, we need to restore this. This was a bread oven. It doesn't take much that we wood driven. We built this, just laid, laid it in there. And this is, we, cook. we gotta get this cleaned up. Stove, this is a brand new stove right here. Brand new? Mm -hmm. Oven. Well, it oh, looks brand new. Yo, don't play with it. Bye, come on, let's go. Me and Timber can clean it out. Me and Timber can clean it out. Me and Timber can get a broken out of the kitchen and start sweeping. Canning and all of that. All right, you all go ahead. Me and Timber can sweep in here. All right, see you all. Be careful. Me and Timber will take a big room and start sweeping in here. No, don't sweep now. Let Ema tell you if she wants to say. Y'all go back in the dining hall. See you. Watch it for her. All right, y'all bro. All right, everybody say shalom. Say shalom. Say shalom. Say shalom. What? No, you have to ask Nani. Say shalom, shalom. Yabaruk. All right. Yabaruk. You all go back in the dining hall with Nani. I see you all. All right. We were can on this. I got this concept here from a French engineer. He designed this for Sierra Leone, uh, the country that's there in, on the continent of Africa, Africa. And he designed this because the women will walk so far, purchase a book on stoves of the world Ah, uh, 20 plus years ago. And I saw this, it wasn't built like this. And we designed this. We built this. And one week we nearly canned 1,000 jars of food. With thousands of jars of canned food. I built this, I had this built because I like cooking. And I would come in here, I had, see that's one, two, that's two grills there, that's four grills, three grills there, that's five grills there, there's six grills there. I know when I say that, people say, oh, he's just talking. There are six grills just right here. See that? And I would come out here for the feast days, I would cook six grills there. And that's not including what I have on the other side. Five on that side, quite a few on this side. This is a smoker here. This is the house where we can dry food with. This is the garbage house. Every Thursday we take all the garbage out of here. So we have a, we have a beautiful community. Here I'm going to plant Right here on the hill, it's gonna be my, for trees, what we call fruit bushes. And I'm gonna plant in here what they call that low clover. You know that clover in your yard with the little white hands? I'm gonna plant that for the soil. These will be carrot bins, and we will grow all kinds of things in there. Oh, you sons are doing an excellent job. Man, I should pay you all for this. Yes. All right. What we gonna have to do, son? Let's get something where we can take all that off the table. Yeah. Uh, let's get that. All right. This is Agiaco trying to get me set up to broadcast outside. Can you to my house and bring my phone to me? You, you, yes. you. Yes, you want to try this? You want to go live, sir? Yeah, let's just try it. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go live. You that. And see if anyone is there. All right, this chair, I'm too old to sit down. Ouch! In this, we're going to try, and try going live so I can. The teachings I want to do outside and broadcast. Do things out here. This is our Ak Yaakov here. Shalom Israel. Shalom Israel. All right. Brilliant mind. 
We have all kinds of expertise among us as people. I'm not saying that you and your organizations of Hebrew Israelites have not established corporations, but put it online, put it up on your videos so people can patronize you. You should have all kinds of factories. You should. And I'm not saying you don't have it because I'm not cognizant of that. But if you had it, I'm quite sure you would promote it worldwide. That people will spend monies with you. We're going to try to go on live here for one moment and see what happens. See if anyone comes on. Come on, son. Move like you've got some energy. Now he, he's moving like that. He's moving like that. But when they're turning the loose, you, he can run too. He's fast. He's going to run like a jackrabbit. You all finish up what you're doing. Yes, sir. All right. You finish? Yes, sir. All right, go over there and help them. Pull, no, 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 no. Take, take the garbage. Take that and, and fill all that stuff in that. All right. Put it all in that. Put it all in that. You want to try? Yes. Sir. All right. What do we do here? Let's go back. Okay. You want to, you want to turn this one off? Or I'm just going to hold this one for now. Okay. Yes, it won't interfere with that, will it? No, sir. He, he's, a, he's the wise one. I am not. So where do I go? All right. Go, okay, go live. I'm going live right now. We're testing this. I want to keep this open so when I am not, I'm an ignorant person when it comes to this technology. I am. I just don't know. We're going live now. Can you see that? I am going to talk for a few minutes. It's live? All right, it's live. Is there anyone there with me? Is this Reach David Yisrael? Yisrael, feed yourself. Emanating from Teshua Hebrew community, we have gathered this first day to work, maintain the order of this place. I simply want to know if anyone can hear me, if you can, if you own a web, just give me uh, a response, if you will. Just give me a simple response, is if you can connect, you see me live. This is the video I'm doing, it's 32 minutes long now, and uh, I want this to be seen. Gave a, Gave us a review of the gardens and everything to show a beautiful place. And I'm telling you, it's very beautiful. I look at what we have built out of nothing. And there were 500 people we could build a city. It doesn't take a large amount. 500 people, a thousand, you can build a nation within this nation. You can produce everything you need every single thing you can produce everything that is vital to the growth those that identify with hebrew hebraic lifestyle you can you can you can create a wealth a deposit that is great can i ask you a question any of you all, where do you live? And I guarantee you there are things that are absent from your community. That is a bank, decent grocery stores, unless it is Walmart. I buy no food from Walmart. I don't buy it. I do not. Unless it's a Walmart, and if they perceive or think you're stealing, you are in trouble. You are in trouble. So tell me in, in, in New York City, Bronx, 
Brooklyn, those places, whereby there is an effective Hebraic organization. They get out on the streets and try to secure the laws, whereby they have, I don't know, and if you know, respond to me, just one store that creates a very wholesome food selection whereby they could buy a thousand acres in the south. Teach the young men, the young daughters and sons to grow food, raise cattle, raise chickens. Tell me where that is. Tell me. If I knew of one like that, although I do not concur with their theses of their doctrine, I would patronize with them. They don't do it. Selling soap? That is so overpriced. It's pathetic. Where can I go? You can go in that same community and find the Chinese taking all their money, those in the Arabic world of the nations don't even respect them. And they go consistently and continuously buying from them. I don't buy from them. I buy no Chinese nothing. I know how they treat people of my hue. I don't buy. I don't go to their stores. I don't go to their shops. I don't. They think as much of you as they think of their own waste out of their bodies. They're down. I don't go to their stores. And anytime I find a store whereby there are people of my hue, I patronize. Wallace Gora calls more where you've given all you've had to stores of no respect, disregard. What I find stores that the people or any kind of distributor, I patronize them. Now, I eat in no one's restaurants. No one's. Not China food. Not black folks food. I don't eat in the Caucasian. I don't eat at your Bojangas and Jangles or McDonald's. I don't eat that trash. I don't eat it. None of it. You fry pork all that in those. I don't care how fine what they call a fine restaurant. I go to none. I eat here in Tishua community. I know whose hands have prepared it. I know what we have because I am the one that is the purchase, purchaser of all the food. I purchase all the food. I do. I go out. I don't look for no bargain. I look for quality. And I buy that food whereby the Jewish man, the Jew, Bah. And those that say they are uh, of the Islamic Khalaq. I trust that process. That is just the truth. We are sad people with the wealth we have in this country. We hate people that look like us. I don't. I can excuse people that look like me for their ignorance because of the ordeal in the everyday setting of life. If I was in a city like New York, which I would not live, I've been there. I would galvanize everyone. You can't even buy a building in New York. You know that. I'm telling the truth. It's beyond your reach. For what you will pay for one building in New York, you can purchase in the South between 1,000 and 2,000 acres. It depends. Land, the price is going up. My. The 
person that sold me this land, I'll never forget. He said, Preacher, there's one thing about land. It's your land. A dollar you spend it. But when it comes to land, it's there. It's not going anywhere. Period. Why don't you that expouse you Islamic strengths? I recall many years ago that Farah Khan purchased about a thousand acres somewhere in the south. I don't know. So I'm not going to speak ill against the man. I do not concur with him, but I'm not going to speak ill against the man. And they were going to produce watermelons. I say to our young ones, that's why I introduce you all to them. I say to them all the time, son, the construct of this nation was built on free labor, people that look like you. But it was the agriculture that produced wealth. It was not the computer. Well, that came because of the wealth that they could venture beyond the scope of their processing things, the micros, the bits. Even got money that really is no money. Bitcoins. Isn't that amazing? <clears throat> Excuse me. Where they're becoming billionaires. I don't know how that went with Farrakhan. Can you imagine what a thousand acres could do? In the South, you don't have those rigid laws. They will compromise with you. They did with me. The man said, preach, I'd pay you how much money you make a year. I said, not one brown penny, not even one. He said, well, the folks going to work in that dining hall there. What are they going to make? I said, if I don't make one brown penny, you think they're going to get? They make the same thing I make. The men live lavish. The men live lavish. The same thing these Jezonite, Jezebel, corrupt Christians do. That's what they do. And I'm talking about those that identified Hebrew Israelite leaders. Where's the money going? Where are the checks and balance? I had two Achim in the house this morning in my office. And I was showing them, I don't have anything. How much money we have, where it comes from, how much we've spent. Because I had nothing, I'm honest. That I am. I'm an honest man. Are you boasting in you? No, I boast in him. Because he reveals my corruption of wickedness and ignorance. I submit to that. Where are they? I know there are people of my you that own farms because they own them here. But there is no way for them to market their produce and things like that. They have to sell it. No one. Where are the Hebrew Israelite marketing organic beef, fresh beef? I don't mind paying a dollar pound more. I would. The honesty. I want these young men that we have here. I try to teach them to understand of labor. Their fathers. Their fathers. All of their fathers. You see those young men? They were with me when they were about that size. They're with me when they're about that size. All of them. <laughs> Their fathers. Aka Yusipi. Yusipi, I was a quiet little fella. Yawasada. All of them. All of them. They didn't have to go. Yusipi, yeah, those Achim, Achim. They didn't have to go and be taught the musical skills, reading and writing. All of our music, we write it. They learned that among us, each other. Where have we gone wrong? We are sad people. We are sad. And the reason why I will use this affirmative speech, because you don't give a damn. 
you don't give a damn unless someone is persuaded persuaded by your thesis you don't give a damn but you don't ask that chinese when you go and there and buy that chinese food with all that poke in it but those arabics i was in a store one day to purchase gas and i'm going to close here since no one uh, the live stream is to, we just wanted to test this out because i'm going to teach out here I went to purchase some gas one day. It was by an Arabic. I didn't know the Arabic on the station. And this creature of hell got nasty with me. I'm like, damn your gas and your store as well. I walked out. I don't patronize with them. Well, you can't judge a person I can judge. They judge me. We are that simple-minded. They judge me when I walk in the store. And that's the vast majority. Same thing with white folks. Period. Same thing with people of my hue. Just be honest with a man of my hue. And you will garner more customers than anything. It's amazing because the white folks, when they come, do you all sell any of this food down here? No, sir, but you want some, pick it out of the garden. I don't care who it is. I've had them, the ones of my hue, I'm not picking that. But yet you want some colored greens. You want that. You think I'm going to pick it for you? Here it is, something free. Hot Sunday morning here in Jefferson, but it's very pleasant for this season. Maybe around 90. But this time of the year, we're looking at 100 plus, like many parts of the nation today. I have great sympathy for the people that look like me. You don't hear me on the internet ostracizing them, calling the women some absurd title. You don't see me on the corners treating the women, the daughters of Zion like that. I would never. I would never. I see a begging on the street. I would not do it like that. I see them on the corners selling their monies. No. I don't know what push them to that. Father, no father, no guidance. Not even understanding what love is. I know the plight of people my color. I was born in the 50s, so I came through the trudge of all of the corruption here in the South. I was telling the young Akim this morning, we were talking, how that they wanted to send me to a school for children of special ability and talents. My mother was poor. I had no clothing, had no money. I hustled for lunch money. Back in those days, you did not get free lunch. And if you did, they took you through the net twice, three times. You could not get, and lunch was only 25 cents. High school, 50 cents. Racism permeated. They did not segregate integrate schools here until 1970. And it was a harsh reality for us of my hue, being integrated with Caucasians. The teachers were rude and corrupt. I don't care how, how much ability you had, they were not recognized. My, my wife that I married, we went to school together. She was a very bright daughter. She's still bright. And the teachers were overlooked then. Caucasians could get it wrong all day long, but us? And we learn from our parents, if nothing else, we must establish this kind of persona that it makes no difference what white folks said. 
I grew up in the time where there was a white bathroom and a colored, white fountain, colored. And I came up through that whereby when you went to Center City, you could not drink out the same water fountains. And so don't tell me how hard Caucasians had it. The poorest of them did not have it. Like people of my hue, even if they were middle class. So don't give me that ball. Don't tell me things have changed. They have not changed. You Hebrew Israelites in these large metroplex, Chicago's, the Detroit, falling down to shabbles, corrupt politicians. Oh, they're corrupt here in Jefferson. I live in a small town. I looked at the population the other day. I wanted to see what I moved here was 996 people living here. According to the census. We have never been a part of the census. So with us at that time, it was over a thousand people here. We were not counted a part of that. When I looked some time ago, or maybe a few weeks, a month ago, the population here in this small town is 774 people. That's what it is. And those that are store owners around here, one gas station is owned by an Arabic Indian. I do apologize. And the Indians are the same way. There's another store owned by the Indians, two different stores owned by the Indian. And uh, I will say I've only patronized with them two or three times in gas. And we would take trips, we would get their gas because it was cheap. They have always been kind. I, I can't say that. There's another store whereby her husband, uh, we talk when I go there, when I'm traveling that way, if I want to get gas. He's been a very pleasant man. He has always been kind. What are you growing down there? You got anything? I could take stuff down there. He could sell it organic all day. He's a very pleasant man. I can't say he's not. I cannot say. The other store that we transact business with, we have an account there. And so the Achim, they go there and they get gas cheaper than us because we're using debit cards and all that. They have an account. They fill up trucks and cars, equipment, and once a month or every week he pays them off. I tell him every week, pay him off. We have sold trucks because he right on Highway 151. And every vehicle that goes in his front of his store is sales. May take a little while. We have sold trucks. We have sold cars. We have sold SUVs. We have sold them there because it's sales. And I don't tend to stop at his place because his gas prices are the same as any other place. But he's a Caucasian. And he does righteous by them. You all just pay cash if you can. I can do you a better price. And that's what we do. I can go down there and get 500 gallons of gas a day. And I'll pay you. Quote the good old white boys. Unquote. I tell them when I call you a white boy, I like you. I like white boys. I don't play games with them. And we despise ourselves, the people of my hue, more than we despise anyone. I look at those that come from different parts, the islands and Africa. I don't patronize with Africans or those that are from the continent because they, there is such an arrogance that is a mockery. If I go in one store, he's decent, I will spend money. I don't care if they're from Jamaica or what. And I find many of them. Because they're trying to qualify themselves, you don't have to. I've met them from many of the islands that have come here, believe me. And they would say, you that are online from Jamaica, they would tell me, Riach David, your, your, your beef jerk is better than hours. I knew it was. I cook it better. There have been people come here from the different islands in different parts. 
I always tell the people the first offering I received, and I wasn't even broadcasting on internet. That was a station that I was paying. The first gift. It was from Dubai. The brother sent three hundred American dollars. He said, "Don't write me back." Our brothers are everywhere. Yisrael is everywhere. Not just those let's do some history those that were sold in slavery were they segregated you tell me that only about 10 15 percent of them came to this part of the world that's a fact that's why you see russians that are black as star in every nation can i say this he scattered and that word is puts he scattered them into coal all, K O L E all, not ha olem ha or the world, but ha erech, and to every part of the world, the islands of the sea, to every nation, that's where they are. They are in every nation, and that's where he scattered them. Every nation, not just America. Out of the zira of Abraham will be there will be many nations. That is Rabbah, Rabbah, Rabbai, Rabbai. There will be many, more than you can number. He produced twelve sons of Yisrael Yachum. He commanded. Even Yaakov, don't hate your brother, for he is still your brother. For he is still your brother. They were brothers out of the same loin. So his people are everywhere. Their skin hue range. I even see, I saw the other day, I don't even watch those that get on the corner. I saw those that, boy, they were as white as white. Well, how far can you go back in your generation? How far can you go back? I'm going to close this for now. Yabaruk Nation, be encouraged. I'm going to talk here a little while, all right? Yabaruk Shalom. Ah. Uh -huh.